Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Lady Survival. Today I have a really fun little kind of makeup beauty haul thing. On Saturday I went to Walmart and Ulta to do like a full restock on pretty much all of my makeup beauty type products. I actually really had wanted to vlog it while I was out and about but I got really shy and nervous because it's like a week before Christmas when we went and it was obviously super super busy and I'm already really shy, so I was just like, maybe now is not the best time for my first vlogging experience at the store. But I did still wanna do a little haul and show you guys everything that I got. Um, pretty much everything that I got is stuff that I've been using for like years, so everything that I'm gonna show is stuff that I love, and there's just like a couple things that I guess were like new things that I wanted to try per se. So anyways, we have got a Walmart bag and an Ulta bag. I feel like the Ulta bag is so cute with the hair and everything. Speaking of which, this is my new hair. Um, I just posted, my last video was of how I dyed my hair. So this is like my first actual like YouTube video in my usual spot with the new hair. And I really, really love it. I think it looks so awesome, the like streaks and stuff. And I did put in my hair extensions. So this kind of like lighter, pastel kind of purple is my hair extensions. I think that it looks cool. It kind of matches with like the multi color thing. I was trying to film just my natural hair without any extensions, but it felt weird. So I threw in the extensions so I can feel normal on camera, but I'm thinking about dyeing my extensions this color, like this kind of like pinky plum color so that it's like, you know, cause I wish that there was more of the plum in my hair, so I feel like that would be a perfect addition. Anyways, into the haul, we will start with everything that I got from Walmart because that was the first store that we went to. So we are just going to reach in and start going over a couple of things. So the first thing that I got is some Tresemme heat spray. I was out of it and I feel like this has been my favorite heat spray for the longest time and I actually don't really use much heat on my hair anymore compared to how much I used to when I was younger. Um, so this is just for the super rare occasions when I do straighten my hair or blow dry my hair. I used to blow dry my hair a lot, like I even recently, but in the past month or two I've been letting my hair air dry so I feel like this is probably gonna last me like years now opposed to usually this would just last me like a month or two but now I rarely 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 use heat. So that is the first thing. Um, the next thing I got is just some more uh, little hair ties. I actually bought some like a month ago but I accidentally bought the thicker ones and I really didn't like them. I think that they were like cheaper than these ones or they were out of stock of them or something but I was like I need the thinner ones. I feel like they're just so much more like easy to work with and my hair is not like super thick so that is awesome. The next two things that I got are my foundation and my concealer. Um, so I've been using these for, I think I've been using this foundation for a couple of months, maybe like a year or so. So I think that this is like my third or fourth bottle that I've been using recently. I just like it. I feel like Maybelline has always been kind of one of my uh, favorite brands. So this is the Super Stay Active Wear Concealer in shade 102 Porcelain. So it is the lightest shade. I actually still have a little bit left. I just, I know that it's going to run out soon, but I've been using this for like months like super long time and I feel like I still haven't ran out. So this is an awesome foundation. I really, really love it. I also got this concealer, which is a concealer by CoverGirl. I actually only tried this, like my last concealer that I'm like currently using is this one and I had never tried it before previously, but I think that I like it. So I decided to uh, repurchase it. It's just nice. It's pretty pale, you know, like pale enough for me. Uh, this is shade L100 Fair Porcelain CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. Um, now, this one I might be returning. I will explain why when we get to the Ulta bag, but we will see. The next two things is I restocked on my Garnier Micellar Michaelaire, I have no idea, Micellar Cleansing Water, uh, all-in-one, waterproof, removes makeup, even waterproof mascara and cleanses and soothes. Um, this I don't use a ton because I have a 
CeraVe face wash that removes my makeup and that's usually what I use to take off my makeup but sometimes if I'm wearing something that's like extra stubborn with coming off I will put some on a cotton pad and use this and it just kind of like helps if I have like mascara that's being stubborn or a lipstick that's really stuck or if I don't feel like washing my face this is like a pretty quick and easy Thing. So this is just something that I use sometimes, but it's nice to have. And then I bought uh, some deodorant because I was out. Um, I don't even know if I specifically use this one. I always just buy like the cheapest one at the store. And I thought it was cute because it's like purple and pink, so deodorant. The last things that I got from Walmart is some purple and black nail polish. Um, again, I always just buy the cheapest thing. Usually for everything, I try to buy the cheapest thing, but these were only like two dollars and something each um, and I haven't painted my nails in so 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 long and usually when I do buy nail polish I always go for black and purple but I knew that the ones that I had were very dry and old and you know just not good for painting my nails so I was like I'm going to paint my nails again because I was trying to have like a little girl's day buying all the cute stuff and then I came home and took a bath and painted my nails um, I kind of did this is so messy. I suck at painting my nails. I did purple and then one black nail and then this one I did all black and then I painted this one black too and then put purple over top of the black so it's kind of like a darker purple than that but yeah I don't do that good of a job but I feel so much cuter now so much more feminine. Um, I believe that that is everything from Walmart. There's actually one other thing. I didn't get it on Saturday I got these like last week but I also got them from Walmart let me show you guys these cute leggings oh they're so cute I found these about like a week ago at Walmart and I just saw them they were like eight dollars and they had my size and they're just so cute they're like cosmic super comfy flared yoga pants and I've been like living in them so that was another recent Walmart purchase. Moving on to the stuff from Ulta, which I feel like is actually the more exciting stuff. Oh, I'm so stoked. So basically the main thing that I go to Ulta for is my Essence products. You guys, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I love Essence for all of my mascara and eyeliner needs. So I got two uh, Essence Lash Princess mascaras. Um, I've actually never tried this pink one before. I think I usually buy like the green one. I always get this purple one and the green one, mostly because I love green and purple, but pink is also a vibe now that like my hair kind of has like pinkish kind of streaks in it. And I was like, these just look so cute together. So tried the pink one. I'm actually wearing it today. Um, all of the Essence mascaras are good. So I love it. <laughs> like they're just the best. I think that they're only like three or four dollars. They're literally the best mascara in the world. I swear to God. If you haven't tried Essence, you need to try Essence. It's so, so, so good. So basically I'm going to use this one for the next however long this lasts me, a month or two, and I will hold on to this one just so I can kind of have like a backup one ready to go. Then I don't have to worry about, you know, going to the store for like a couple months at least. So I always like to buy a few things at once. And then the next things that I got are all of my eyeliners from Essence. So. I got, let's start with these two. These are two of the same one. This is pretty much my favorite eyeliner ever that I use all the time. And it is the Essence 24 Ever Ink Liner. It's like a felt tip eyeliner. So I got two of them so that I'm good. Got a restock and everything. So good, literally best eyeliner ever. I love Essence so much for eyeliner and mascara. And then I also got this um, Essence Super Precise liquid eyeliner. Um, this one I don't use as often as the other one, but if I ever want to do like a graphic eyeliner art or, you know, be super precise, I just feel like this is easier with like liquid eyeliner kind of stuff. And then the last eyeliner that I got is just this little um, black like retractable one because I, I don't usually get these. I've bought this before, I think like a few years ago, um, but I, it's good for doing like your waterline, but I don't always do that, but I kind of miss doing that. So I'm going to start wearing that again. So really, really exciting. The next thing that I got, I've never tried this before. And this is the reason why I was mentioning that I might return this CoverGirl concealer because I didn't even know that Essence had a concealer, but I saw it. And obviously it's just really cute and it's obviously more affordable than this. So I figured I'm going to try this. And if I like it, I'm going to return this one and then just start using 
Essence concealer instead. So yeah, I technically bought two concealers, but we will see and I will update you guys on if it's good. I'm kind of nervous because I don't really know how I feel about buying like kind of like super cheap face makeup, but if their eyeliners and mascaras are good, we're gonna see how it works. Just a couple more things. Um, these ones are also brand new things that I have never ever tried before, but I wanted to treat myself to some lipsticks because I pretty much have only been wearing my one purple lipstick forever like that's usually like the only lipstick that I buy and I'm trying to have more fun with trying like different lipstick colors so today I'm actually wearing this one but I mixed it with some other stuff so I have this uh NYX Smooth Whip Matte Cream uh lipstick and this is called uh Snuggle Sesh it's really really cute let me actually swatch this one for you guys it's just oh my god I swatched it at the store and I was like, I love it. So it's like kind of purple, kind of like pink, and it's just so cute. So that's what I'm wearing today. And then I put a little bit of NYX Sway on top of it. So like a pastel purple on top and then a little bit of my white jumbo pencil to just make it a little bit more pastel. So I really, really like it. It's like pink. And then the other one that I got, again, I haven't tried this before, um, but I was running out. I have like a, a red lipstick by NYX called Kitten Heels is the color and I'm running out of it. And I really like it for when I do like my vampire looks or sometimes it's fun to mix like red and purple together on my lips. So I was like, okay, I need another red lipstick. So this is the NYX Lingerie XXL, uh, I guess, liquid lipstick. And this is called Sizzlin and it is so cute. I am so excited. This one I haven't even um, opened yet. I tried the tester at the store and it stayed on my hand for so long. I feel like I washed my hand like multiple times and I was like scrubbing it with soap and it didn't want to come off. Um, so probably makeup remover would take it off a little bit easier. But let me show you guys. It's so pretty. I feel like it's just like a perfect kind of like vampire kind of blood red. I haven't actually tried this on my lips yet so I'll have to do like a makeup tutorial. Maybe my next video will be a makeup tutorial using as many of these products as I can to kind of like demonstrate everything but I'm just so excited to have treated myself to some lipsticks it feels very very nice very girly and the final last thing that I got I've never tried this before either but I've heard a lot of good things about the brand the skincare brand uh, the ordinary so I got the hyaluronic acid 2% plus b5 it's basically like a serum and I have tried it a couple times I think three times I tried it on the night when I got home and then the morning and then the night again and then today as well so I've tried it like four times because it says that you can put it on in the a.m. and the p.m. so I really like it it feels so soft like I serums just feel so 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 good and I haven't had a serum in a long time so I've really really been loving it I think that it's working I mean I guess that I'll have to give it more time but so far I really really love it and I'm excited to like add to my skincare because right now my skincare is pretty basic. I basically just wash my face and then put on CeraVe moisturizer and that's it. So this is like one extra step and I'm really excited about it. So that is all of the little goodies that I got. Let me know what you guys thought of this video. Do you use any of these products? I'd love to uh, talk about it, all the little girly things. Um, I'm also really sorry that I wasn't able to vlog the experience, but I promise in 2024, I will definitely get more out there and do more kind of fun, like come shopping with me type videos. Anyways, that's all that I've got for you guys today. I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye!